Hey, sneakling has been tonight. Tonight we have Zorin 4 Ultimate Edition. Now they're guys from the old Emerald Country. Must have had too much Guinness over the holiday period and sent me a little freebie, which is rather nice one. Of the Ultimate Edition. And the Ultimate Edition has got all the bits and bobs already in there. And that's over three gig download. So that's a big old baby in it really, but it's got lots of stuff in there. And as you can see what I'm doing down there, there's lots of stuff. So first I've got the music player, which of course is going to be rhythm box. All standard, all nice you may think. So we're going to open it up, Ubuntu one. We go through a few things with you here first. Now as it's from Ireland, I'm going to put in Imelda May. Imelda May you may ask. Yeah, well she's an Irish artist. Very good, a bit of jazz, a bit of rockabilly. Very nice indeed. They're here at the Ubuntu One Music Store, so that's pretty cool. Give her a listen, you may like it, you may not. But yeah, all there. I still don't like, like the layout of the Ubuntu One Music Store. I still prefer to go down to 7 Digital and get my music. But it may change over the time, you never know. But that's not down to the boys from Zorin. That's down to Ubuntu. Okay. So the rest on the bottom bar, we've got our volume, messages, my network connection, time and date. Stuffy stuff there, I'm logged in, yes, me. And we've got a little menu to log out, suspend, hibernate, etc. on the end there. So that's alright now. So, what else shall we do? He says to himself. Well, there's quite a lot here, so it's quite a big, 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 big thing, really. So that's over 10 minutes long, this video. So that's a nice big one. As you can see, you've got all the usual here in the GNOME. Now, this is the GNOME, not the GNOME, it's the Windows 7 look we're using at the moment. Doesn't do a too bad a job, does it, really? It's alright if you want to do that sort of thing. But yeah, it works super cold, super fine, lovely. So first we're going to accessories. Uh, oh, you always get browsing internet on the top, but as we go down you can see there's loads of stuff, including docky, quick sedgy, take a screenshot. So I'm going to do that, Let's see if it works. You know, you never know, it may not work. We click there, it seems to be working, where do I want to save it? Well, I'll save it there to the desktop, I think. There you go. There it is, over there on the corner there. Really nice, lovely, like it. Next. Next we'll go down to the menu again. There's a lot of this going down to the menu by the way, because it's gnome based really, isn't it? As I said before, got Tomboy Notes as well, X Journal, get it's there as well, yeah. Glow for glow bus. Hmm. Or glue bus even, I'll have to look into that one. So yeah, that's alright. Next on the list is games. There's quite a lot here by the way. That's why it's such a big eye. So the arcade games you get with these Extreme Tux Racer, very good Fret on Five, Fun, Frozen Bubble, Gotta Be Had, Never Born of a Putt. New looks and Super Tux and more like Super Tux I do like. In the rest of the menu you have Brutal Chess, I like playing that as well. Pass the time away. And there's lots of others here including X Moto if you want to do a bit of 2D motocross. Nice, I like it. Next section is Graphics. And then you get Blender. You get the full screen and the windowed. Diagram Editor, Gimpy as standard. Inkscape's there so we're going to open Gimpy up make sure it all works. First time it's open, so this is going to take a little while, so I'll just cut it a bit here, otherwise I've been here all day. But as you can see, all works nice and bright on that dark background they have for their desktop. So yeah, that's all. what I'll do that for, I don't know. Okay, back to the menu again, that's the third time in it. So I said before, you can open up his drawing, scribe, that's very well done. Shot well was there as well. Now they've changed over the shot well, Ubuntu have anyway, and so the boys are following them. Whether it's a good thing, I don't know, you know. It's not my cup of tea, but if you don't like it, you can download something else. That's all right, isn't it? Okay, here we go on this one. You've got AMSM. I think I saw that myself, I think. Empathy, Evolution Mouse, Giver is for helping uh, giving out files between people. Google Chrome is your standard browser, Giver for all your social stuff, Internet Browser Manager, etc. Transmission. So we're going to go to the Internet Browser Manager, as I've showed you before now. It wants my password. So we're going to need to put in my password, which is ABCDFG. Open it up. Now, as you can see, we've already got Google Chrome installed. Now, I installed Midori last time, didn't I? So, we don't want to do that one again. So, in this section, it's between the Fox or the Opera. So, it's going to be install Fox, Opera, Opera, Fox, Fox, Opera. But I'll tell you what, we'll install Opera. So, yes, to continue. Now, this bit takes a bit of a while because the Opera downloads getting larger and larger every time they improve it, but it is getting quite good. So, we're installed and we click OK in the end, shall we say. Yeah, it's getting quite large, they'll download for Opera, but they improve it every time and there's lots and lots of bits and bobs on it. That makes it bigger, of course. So, yeah, there's that bit to it, isn't there, really? So, we've clicked OK. So, we're going to open it up and have a look, see what it's like, shall we? OK. Go back 
down to the menu. Fifth time, was it six? I've lost count. Internet, Opera is there. Now you have to accept this, but I wouldn't really worry about it too much, really, unless you really want to go free, 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 or free and everything. But hey, we're all mid users, really, aren't we? We use free software, some of us, and we use partly non free software, you know what I'm saying. So look, it's so Opera 11, it looks really, really nice. There's lots of stuff here to look at and stuff like that. Oh, I like it. Well, I'll close that part, or that little tab there. Okay, now we have our little speed dial thingy. Now I'll let it load for you. These are the pre ones pre installed that are already there. So, yeah, any other I don't know? Well, there is actually. What right down the end there? Can you see it? Fast mail. Let's have a look at what that's like. Uh, email for business, email for friends, individuals. Yeah, I might have a look at it later, but hey, Opera works super fine. No big deal. Okay, back to internet again. What else can I show you here? You get remote desktop viewer, and you get the terminal server client as well here, so you can do looking and doing, if you know what I mean. I'll have to do a video on doing that actually, because that'll help quite a lot. Although a couple of guys have already done some, so whether I should know, I don't know. Okay, in office, it's open office. Yep, fair enough. Obviously, that will change to LibreOffice in the future. I will think he's right. Here we go. Sound and video, big one. Where shall I start? Okay, at the top, Acid Rip, lovely. And Rock, lovely. Arista Transcoder, I used that for a while. All Dusty, gotta have. Banshee, love it. Brazero, I still use it. Jeez, don't know why. Clementine, I'm getting to like it. Clementine, DVD, gotta have if you like doing DVDs at home. FM Radio Tuner, mm, must check that out. Jugashar, audio editor. Kazam, a lot of people started using Kazam. I've never found it too stable for me, so I don't use it. Caden Live, of course I use. Linux Multimedia Studio, yes I do use, for, mainly for fun for myself. So I'm going to open them up and give you a quick look. Remember, all these are pre-installed on the ISO or the DVD, whether you buy it and get it shipped directly or you download it. So basically they've done all the work for you for, I think it's around about 10, 15 euros. Which is right, isn't it? If you don't want to do the work, just go and get something to do it for you. That's what they're getting paid for, nothing else. Okay, there it is, look, lovely. It's the latest version of Linux uh, Multimedia Studio as well, so it's got all these extras in it. Nice, I like. So we have there's loads. Look. I must have a pretty good look soon, I think. A better a deep in look, look, look. Or look even further in. Okay, so there's some songs that you can do and like demos. Let's see my listen, that's enough of that. Next, as we say, down to the menu, I think we'll go. Again, is that sixth time or seventh? Lost count. Okay, send the video again. And we'll scroll down a bit further. And you also get, apart from this, might be a studio, Me TV, Myro. Don't forget Myro. I still use Myro a lot. Mix, I use an awful lot. If you don't know Mix, it's a DJ stuff. So you can mix your own stuff. So if you're doing backgrounds, take it out on the little laptop or something. And you can mix. And it's also, you can use uh, like little mix tables and vinyls as well with it. Big community, really easy to use. A lot of fun if you like doing your own music. Nice. Anyway, here it is. Look, really easy to use. Simple, isn't it? Isn't that simple? Easy. Go out and try it. I recommend this one. Five out of five mix. It's super duper. Got to be done. So yeah, that's enough of mix. Okay, get rid of mix. Next on the list. I told you to be a long one, didn't I? God blimey. Send the video again. We go a bit further down. A bit further down. Okay, Mara, I've already told you about mix. We just looked at. Movie player open shot I use as well as Code and Live and a Avademux I use as well and Cinerilla. VLC media player is already on here for you. It's a must have really if you want to do multi format stuff because it sees it all really. Right, close it on down. Next, we go. Should we go next? Yeah, we're going. Next. No, we're going to change the desktop. Nah, that's a bit of a problem. I didn't want to change the desktop. So, okay, we'll leave that and I'll come back to that later. System tools. Okay. Email back in time, back in time root, a file browser, your system profile, and Ubuntu Tweak, which I'm going to open for you straight away. Now, if you've never used Ubuntu Tweak before, you can tweak your Ubuntu or should we say Zorin system to your heart's content. So you can do anything you really want. Now, I'm not going to go into it too much because it's actually a video all on its own. So yeah, I'm just going to show you some bits and bobs really. But it's already in there for you. You don't have to download it and install it yourself. So yeah, it's all right. I mean, especially if you've got slow bandwidth as well, you might just want to get the DVD and be done with it. Lucky enough, my DVD, my bandwidth is nice at the moment. It's all gone back up to usual, so I'm happy about that. So yeah, that's all right, wasn't it? Yeah. Back again. Where should we go now? Okay. 
Universal Access. You get Cell Writer, Easy Stroke, and On Board. Easy Stroke's quite good, actually. I did try that out a while ago. Nice. Wine comes as standard, and I think so does Play on Linux as well. So that's pretty good as well. Software Center is the Ubuntu Software Center. Okay, so that's all right. So there you go. What's their feature today is Frozen Bubble and GDA Slits. So I'll tell you what, we'll click on GDA Slits. Ah, have a look. Tells you all about it. It's a basically a bit of bling for your desktop. You know what I mean? So you can put bits and bobs on there. If you've never used it before, give it a go. If you don't like it, just uninstall it. It's free. You ain't got to pay for it. So, you know, I think there is everything. Okay, install software. Now, yeah, if I scroll down here, there'll be loads and loads and loads and loads, so I won't bother. So we'll come out of the software centre, because you've probably already seen it all before, okay? Okay, next. Places. Well, you know what places is. It's where places are. It's your home folder, etc. Now, here, it's basically a, it's a system administration and stuff. You've all been there before. It's just set out in this particular way. So you know what's going to be there, but there's quite a few extras as well on top. You also get Ubuntu 1, so you get 2 gigabyte of free storage, so that's pretty nice too. If I go to administration, I don't like the firewall bit, sorry. G Party Dev, got to be done. All the bits for networks and languages, etc. Startup to system monitor, system testing, time and date, update manager. And you get a lot of stuff as well. So, oh, I'm out of breath now. Okay, where are we now? We've done that one, didn't we? Where should we go next? I'll tell you what, we won't go there at all. We're going to go to the control centre. Now, if you've used Linux Mint or Zorin before, you'll be very, very familiar with this. Now, I'll go for a bit. I'm not going to say too much. But look, there's loads of stuff here to change bits and bobs about your system. So, from simple compies to screensavers to your Bluetooth connections to getting additional drivers and this stuff. All some of them I've actually went through before. But you can all access it here from this centre, which is pretty cool. I think we're all right in it. Yeah. I hate long videos, but we're done there anyway. But at the end of the day, if you like all this stuff and you don't want to download it yourself, get the DVD. As I said before, we've got the Windows 7 version here, or the look, but you also get Mac OS X and Linux GNOME. You also get XP, Windows 2000, so you can change it to everyone the look you want. So what I'm going to do, just near the end of the video, we'll change it to Mac OS X. So you've got to re-log in to apply the changes, so we'll click OK, or OK even. Click on the box to get rid of it. I go down and log out, and the video will magically come back, as you will find out in a second. So I'll click log out, and there we are, back in Mac OS X. Now I've not enabled compies here for comp system, so I really need to do that to get this background to work properly. But I'm not going to do it on this particular video. But you can see what I'm getting at. You get a nice, nice system to work with, don't you think so? Oh, I do. So Docky's there. It uses Docky, by the way. I mean, I use Cairo on my home system. But they've used Docky here, so that's all right, don't it? Maybe it's all right, yeah. So if you like that sort of thing, it's super bleeding duper. Now, if you don't mind paying the cash, it's fine. But if you want to do it yourself, just download all the apps yourself. But that's going to take you quite a bleeding while, isn't it? Now, on the whole, I think they've done really well here. So, you know, if you don't use it, don't knock it. Just give it a download and give it a try. Sneaky Linux out.